Our lived experiences tell us that capitalism is shit. Most people work long hours for low pay and the rich get richer as the poor get poorer. It exploits people, it oppresses people and it destroys the environment. This exploitation can be seen clearly when we consider what profit is. Profit, or surplus value, and I will explain why we can call it surplus value later, is bound up in Marx's labour theory of value. The theory, briefly, holds that value produced is relative to the labour hours expended in the production of things. Marx was not the first to espouse this view. He had taken it from the British classical political economy. However, Marx was the first to harness this into a complex and coherent view of exactly why capitalism is so shit. The labour process is made up of three parts. The objects of labour, the instruments of labour, and human labour. The first two can be grouped under constant capital, or dead labour. Human labour is living labour, or variable capital. Together these two go towards the production of things. Let's take the example of my tie. The constant capital, or dead labour, in the production of a tie would be some silk. The living labour would be the human labour required in the production. We could imagine that one hour of labour is worth one pound, and that the production of a tie would consist of one pound of silk, one dead labour hour of silk, and one pound of human labour, one hour of human labour. The total production cost would be two hours of labour, or two pounds. The capitalist selling the tie at two pounds would obviously not make a profit if they paid one pound for the silk and one pound for the hour of labour. However, as we know, capitalists do make profits and very large ones. To see how this happens, we have to return to the labour process. The capitalist cannot make profit, or at least it is difficult to do so, on constant capital. This is obvious. If I buy a chocolate bar for 50p and I do not alter it or change it in any respect, it is going to be difficult for me to sell it to you for more than 50p. With the same reasoning, a capitalist cannot buy some silk and sell it on for more. However, they can make profit on the living labour, on the human part of the production process. This is because whilst the cost of production is one pound per one hour of human labour, the capitalist does not pay this one pound. Let's extend this over the course of a working day to illustrate it. We can imagine that a worker works for eight hours. They're expending eight labour hours and it is worth eight pounds. The cost of living may be four pounds per day. This is literally the bare minimum that you need to survive. The capitalist, if they paid four pounds per day, would be effectively paying four pounds for eight pounds worth of work. They make four pounds of profit. Compressing this into one tie, we see how the capitalist still pays one pound for the silk, but only 50p for the one hour of human labour required to produce the tie. They are effectively paying one pound 50 for the production of a tie that is worth two pounds. There is 50p of profit. That is what surplus value is. It is value which is surplus to what the capitalist invests into the production process. Now, of course, the capitalist, as well as making 50p profit on every tie, will employ a number of workers in a number of factories over a very long period of time. These 50p's are accumulated and accumulated to make the capitalist richer and richer, giving them money to spend on luxury goods or to reinvest 
into the production process, taking on more workers, building more factories, and generally just increasing their wealth. The worker, on the other hand, continues to be exploited, receiving less for his labour than his labour is worth. Capitalism is exploitative and it is unstable, and when it fails, those who suffer are the very people that work the hardest to keep it going, the workers. But there is an alternative, and that alternative requires the overthrow of this wretched system and the building of a new society, a new economy, a new world that's based on people's needs rather than corporate profits. Streets too loud to ever hear freedom ring, say it back in with your sleep. It's dangerous to dream, but your chain cats get their chip back. You dead now, killing fields need blood to graze the cash cow. It's a numbers game, but shit don't add up somehow. Like I got 16 to 32 bars to rock it, but only 15% of profits ever seen.